Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with theft of jewelry. Let's see here. One day, I went with my wife to a jewelry store, and leaving the store, I was arrested for carrying a bracelet in my bag with a value of $1,500. I think my wife put it in there, and I was arrested. My wife refused to say who had done it. Well, at a jewelry store, there's going to be a huge pile of cameras. So yes, I understand that uh, initially uh, you did have the uh, bracelet in your bag, but uh, if the cameras at different angles could show that she was the one who was walking around, she had the, the jewelry in her hand and then came around and stuck it in there. I mean, there's going to be many cameras and multiple angles at a jewelry store, and they're going to be able to discover whether or not it was you who put the jewelry in there or if somebody else did it. Regardless, this is a violation of uh, Penal Code Section 487 here in the state of California that carries up to three years in state prison. Generally speaking, if you permanently deprive or if you have the intent of permanently depriving the owner of property and that property is valued no at over $950 that would be a felony here in the state of California now if there's any kind of evidence indicating that this was planned out well in advance before entering into the store Theoretically, there could be a charge for a violation of Penal Code Section 459, which would be a burglary, which carries up to five years in state prison here in the state of California. But at the end of the day, the cameras at a jewelry store will show whether or not you were the one who put the jewelry in there, if it was inadvertently put in there for one reason or another, or if uh, your wife was the one who actually uh, put it in there. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond to the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who was harassing a minor, a criminal lawyer, a criminal lawyer's. DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.